Well, uh, it's late in the day, as you can tell. Work is over, but also you might be able to tell, I'm not currently driving my van. So I got a new truck. It's a uh, Dodge Ram 1500 2010. It's, uh, it's not super amazing or super new or anything, but it's definitely better than my 99 van with brake issues. So uh, anyways, the bed in the state it's in is just not gonna fly for tool storage and organization and all that fun stuff. So naturally, I need to build the sickest set of drawers the world has ever seen. So I'm gonna pick up some material right now and then we'll get it loaded up and then we'll get into the build. All right, so we got our material and both of our trucks are here. We're actually doing two sets of drawers. So what we're gonna do today is, just because we only have a little bit of material, we're gonna do the plywood on the floor. So we're gonna be doing drawers, pull it so they pull out, it'll be the length of our bed. Then we're gonna have like a system on top that we'll be able to pull out. We have a bunch of wheels. So we'll actually be able to set stuff in the back and pull out the whole system so we can grab the stuff that's on the top in the back. So that's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. We're doing the exact same thing on both of our cars. It's gonna be a fun time. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so how we're describing this, it's a little uh, it's a little rough, but we're framers, so that's how it goes. <laughs> we locked the combo square at the deepest dimension on this side. It's the same on this side. Thankfully. Yeah, and then uh, we're literally just holding our pencil like this and then following along the curve like that. But and then we'll actually use, when we cut this, all out we're gonna use it on the other sheet to do the other side so then we know both sides will be perfect all right this is our fully scribed bed piece this is the bottom side of it so we're gonna scribe these little nail plates here so we can notch them down and then we'll screw them together and then we'll flip it upside down and we're notching them so they don't make a high spot in the whole thing. Yep. That bracket. You didn't to get think it about in. some of these things, but it fits perfect. That's right. The, the person who owns this next is never gonna be able to get it out. That's right. That's the downside of a perfect fit is uh these little notches, putting it in with the topper. We had to take the topper off, but you know what? It fits perfect. Yep. Oh gorgeous. Look at that. Literally does not get tighter than that. Love it. Alright, we got them all in. Here's Landon's. Mine, mine has no windows, so it's dark as a dungeon in here. But there's our uh, our base uh, platform, so we're ready to uh, start. I need to choose something. It's just that corner over there. We're ready to start the uh, rest of the drawers next time. <laughs> yeah. All right, so our platforms are done in both trucks. So now what we're working on is the sides. So this is kind of what they look like. They're basically gonna sit up vertical and that's what the bed platform is gonna stand on. So this surface is gonna go against the ground and then a sliding bed platform will go across the tops. So there's side for that one. There's one over here. We'll 
double layering the plywood so we have a good solid surface to screw that into. And then we'll be making little boxes for the middle where we can slide some tools into like levels, uh, sledgehammers possibly, lights, all sorts of fun stuff. And lightsabers. No. It's a little dark in here, unfortunately, because I don't have windows, but look what I found. This little power terminal, I have this weird little battery adapter with just hot negative wires, which are super legitly wired into that. So boom, battery goes there, light switch up here, ka-chow. All right, so our next stage here is we're gonna build our platforms. Uh, our, since our trucks are different, it's gonna look a little different on each of them. So for Landon's, he's going to have this piece of angle iron. We're going to drill it. He's going to put his uh, topper clamp through it. And then we're going to weld a piece of angle iron that'll come out, uh, down and over. And that's what will hold the platform down as we slide it out on the wheels. For mine, it's a little bit different. I think I'm going to be able to just drill my angle iron straight onto my clamps. I bought a... Uh, uh, drill and tap and then I got some bolts for that so I can just bolt it right on there which hopefully should be easy um, I think we're gonna set our platforms first so it can determine the height and then we'll put our angle iron on top of that with just like a little 16th or 8th inch of clearance so we can slide freely and then uh, yeah we'll go from there and our uh, drawer slides should be arriving in the mail early this week so we should uh, have a finished set of drawers this week, which would be amazing. Anyways, let's do it. we're putting two by six railings on the outside of our bed platform just to give them some rigidity and also just to keep things from sliding around and, and that go for it and to protect, he doesn't have windows on the side but i do and it'll protect my windows as well true and when we're pulling our bed out we don't have to worry about anything falling off the back or sides into the 
you know, abyss. So, anyways. All right, so this is what it looks like with the railings. Got the little dog ear on that. Um, we're actually gonna put these little gym mats on here. We're gonna They're cut really them. cheap at Home Depot. That's right. We're just gonna try it, see how it does. It'll uh, protect the plywood and protect the uh, tools that we put on top of it. So we're just gonna give it a shot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna install that now. Face up, we're just using a four foot level to keep it up off the deck an even amount. Um, and then we got it spaced flush with the front of the drawer. And then because the holes are pretty big, we just got some little washers with these construction screws. Um, so hopefully that should hold it up. These bad boys can hold up to 500 pounds. Right. Space of the whole way. All right, the drawer slides are in. We got a locking mechanism, slides all the way out to five feet, which is pretty nice. Right, yep. Right wow, there. that's bonkers, actually. So now that we have that done, we're working on the drawers themselves. So we've got some lines snapped. We're going to cut those bad boys. drawers built they're just set in here right now the drawer slides are mounted onto the middle sections so now we're gonna screw them on so what we did is we figured out our height you can see that crow's foot right there we have another one right there we're gonna screw them on slide them all the way out screw them off all the way so they're nice and strong and then from there we will do the drawer faces which will go on the outside oh yeah it's coming together home stretch We finally got them done. It took us forever because we're not drawer slide installers. Had to bring out the wire, that's how long it took. That's right. So they come out, they lock out. This thing won't push in. So if I'm ever parked on a decline, I don't have to worry about my drawers trying to close on me. It also. Oh. Once it's in all the way, locks in. So both of our drawers have that. That's what this little yellow knob is here. So we're going to cut a little thing out of that so we can latch it while we're yeah, uh, pulling it in opening it. our drawers. And I kid you not, we literally spent about two and a half hours struggling with these, these slides stupid only. drawer slides. Yeah. But we got it done. And it looks good. That's right. And we got about 10,000 lumens to keep us going to finish this off. So thanks, that's right. Let's do it.
So the faces of the two drawers are right now one solid piece, as you can see. Slide them out to here. I got my line right there. And I'm just gonna cut them. So they're nice and touching. Nice and in place and hopefully parallel. There could be different weight on this, so it's actually possible that it might bind. So, um, like that. That's pretty gorgeous. That's pretty cool. And they both lock independently. And even the grain is matching. Besides looking I very like nice. Yep, I like that. So that should be able to pull out. That is very nice, if I do say so myself. Looks nice. In and locks. Locks out. Can't pull it in. And it locks in. Can't pull it out. And, and it shuts. Nice and perfect, so all your bags of concrete slide out. <laughs> so, this is the truck system, all finished up. Drawers on each side. Got the saws going here, a couple nail guns here. This whole thing is for co hoses and cords. Miscellaneous tools, some bags. A little messy because I just rolled up. Oh, locks in the middle. This drawer. Drills. Chalk and sawzall blades. Radio, a couple spare chargers, a bunch of bits. This whole board actually slides out if I wanted to. And then I can plug all these chargers in at once. Laser, high pressure guns, high, uh, high pressure concrete gun, other tools back there. This can come out much further too if I want it to. Um, it's about five foot standout. It's not even touching the, uh, that, uh, tailgate as you can see. And then the bed itself slides out. That's how I got these tools on there. Made it easy. Um, I just slid into the side because I'm grabbing some material in the morning. But then all that fits in there nice and easy. Lock it up. And how you say, Bob's your uncle. But yeah, thanks for checking it out, guys. Building along with us. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for following along. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this and building stuff. And yeah, have a good one.